I just watched the weirdest fucking movie I've ever seen in my life, and I want to talk to you guys about it. So welcome. Alright, so first things first. Happiness is a movie from 1998 about a family, more particularly about the Jordan family. There's the little sister Joy who has sex with one of her students and then gives him a thousand dollars afterwards. Then there's Helen, the middle sister. She's a successful writer, but she also wants to fuck a creepy guy making obscene phone calls to her. The creepy guy is a fat lonely man who is hit on by another woman who hates sex and so therefore she kills and chops up a man when he tries to rape her. And then there's the oldest sister, Trish, who is married with two children. Her husband is a psychiatrist. Oh, and he's also a pedophile that masturbates to teen boy magazines and rapes two boys. Basically, he uses the Cosby method on them. Oh, and then there's their eldest son, who tries all throughout the movie to come for the first time. Oh, and let's not forget about the parents that after 40 years of marriage decide to split up, but yet refuse to get a divorce. It's a movie for the entire family. Uh, yeah, this this movie's fucked up. But the weirdest thing about this movie is definitely the trailer made for it. It actually shows this movie as a comedic thing made for the entire family. Almost like it was an episode of a fucking sitcom. That is, without a doubt, the biggest troll ever. Oh, and did I mention who suggested it to me? Bo Burnham. Bo fucking Burnham. I mean, no wonder Bo has such weird humor. But just like with Bo's comedy, I also really love this movie. Well, love's a strong word. I mean, I love Bo's comedy, but... I also really like this movie. It is so weird that it's actually pretty good. I'll be honest with you here, right? This is the first two and a half hour long movie that I haven't fallen asleep to. And I've watched the Harry Potter movies. Yikes. But yeah, this movie is actually pretty well written and pretty well put together. But it isn't a mystery why this movie wasn't a success. The budget for this movie was three million dollars. That's what it cost to make it. And it only made 2.8 million. Back. It was even freaking banned from the Sundance Film Festival, and those cunts will show anything. Actually, Robert Ebert, the late critic, described the movie like this. The depraved are only seeking what we all seek, but with a lack of ordinary moral vision. In a film that looks into the abyss of human despair, there is the horrifying suggestion that these characters may not be grotesque exceptions, but may in fact be part of the mainstream of humanity. It is not a film for most people. It is certainly for adults only. But it shows Todd Salons as a filmmaker who deserves attention, who hears the unhappiness in the air, and seeks its sources. That's actually a pretty good description of it. It does feature some fucked up moments, but I really like how it actually touches on these taboo subjects like pedophilia. But the scene where little 11-year-old Johnny Grasso wakes up with blood coming out of his ass, that scene they could have left out. I didn't need to see that. But this movie actually also kind of reminds me about the movie Once Were Warriors, where a young girl is raped by her uncle and then decides to take her own life because of it. I mean, it's kind of fucked up. But hey, at least the dad in this movie actually roofied the boys before he raped them, so there's that, right? But the funniest scene in this movie has got to be when Alan, the neighbor of the middle sister Helen, and also the guy making obscene phone calls to her, is on a date with another girl from the apartment building, Christina. They're at that date thingy at a local diner, she tells him about how she twisted the neck of the caretaker because he was trying to rape her and then cut him up into little pieces. And now she's trying to get away with him with his body through the garbage. The funny thing is definitely Alan's reaction, but also how Christina is just sitting there eating ice cream the whole time. It's, it's too funny. And then I had to cut up his body. You know, plastic bag, all the parts. I've been throwing it out gradually ever since. There's still some left in my freezer. All right, that's enough about taboo fucked up topics. I urge you to go watch the movie though. It's pretty freaking good. Also remember, these are not traditional reviews. Notice how you never saw the word review in the title of this video. These let's talk videos are basically just me talking about whatever fucked up topic I choose to talk about, whether it be movies or crazy videos on the internet or fucked up feminists or vegans, or whatever the fuck I may choose to talk about, but they're not reviews. Anyways, if you'd like to see the first one of these Let's Talk videos where I talk about the god-awful 2015 documentary Hot Girls Wanted, you can go and check that out. There'll be a link in the description, and also in a second. Anyways, that is it for me this week, you guys. I've almost lost my voice now. I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to head straight off to bed, as it is really 6 a.m., uh, the filming of this so i urge you all to do the same and to get some rest and i'll see you hopefully next saturday all right bye guys it says this blah 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 that you can get two thousand three thousand dollars for going out there once i 
thought that I was just gonna go there, do one or two, and come back. There's like no worse feeling than being used.